Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your world update, space weather update, as well as earthquakes and volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Large solar prominence erecting from the surface of the sun in the northeast position there. We've also got activity coming in, opposite angle of that, antipode to all of that activity. Watching on the right-hand side there, more plasma filaments in the incoming position, starting to raise up. Only two Earth-facing sunspots right now, and they're pretty quiet. Large plasma filaments standing and dancing and looping around northeast region of our sun and that is in an outgoing position still some amazing imagery here another closer look at all of that activity as well there's a large plasma filament stretched across the northern hemisphere right there hoping that stays intact but by the looks at the southern hemisphere something is brewing and our sun is acting funky Here's a look at the antipode opposite region of all of that plasma activity. Southwest region of our sun and as well the earth facing sunspots there. Bright flashy regions. Looking at multi-spectrum at the last two days of events. Plasma filament collapsed here producing a small CME. Heavy activity in the top right region of our sun, as well the southern hemisphere. Look at this, all of these plasma filaments dancing around the south pole of our sun. Joining forces for a solar tornado on the southern hemisphere. Check that out right at the last few images there. Stay tuned for more imagery here with daily events worldwide. Looking at another light here, darkened regions are the coronal holes. So we do have an Earth-facing coronal hole right now. And we are experiencing a space weather event from three days ago, our large M-class solar flare producing CME and is hitting us now. It has been for the past couple days. Here's a look here at Alaska 2 showing all of the solar flux taking off from our sun. That top right-hand region, that is where that large plasma filament is. And if you notice there in the bottom right-hand region, there was a sun-diving comet. Heavy, heavy activity there on the top right. Large blast there from the CME as of late and there is that sun diving comet coming in just after that large plasma eruption amazing imagery I want to thank everybody for tuning in today don't forget please hit that like button there's still a lot of information coming your way Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing that latest CME taking off from the sun and as well the incoming space weather greens and yellows heading towards our yellow planet solar x-ray flux remains in heightened B range geomagnetic activity sit at KP2 real-time solar winds right now 590 kilometers per second and that's been up and coming since the 14th as we were expecting this space weather event 15th into the 16th. Schumann resonance for today, a power of six. Quick browse here at our telemetry. Amplitude of six, quality 6.3, power of four. Now let's get to earthquakes across the world. This is the past 24 hours for earthquakes. Very large earthquake ringing out Central America off the coast of Central America today. 10 kilometer depth tsunami watch was put out, but no tsunami was imminent. Santa Marta, Panama seeing the 4.5. Nicaragua, 4.2. 
in as well. Mexico, 4.2, pretty deep for the region. And this was a warned region from last video. Quiet through the Caribbean. Not much to talk about across the United States. Small swarm occurring. Toya, Texas, and largest through California, being a 3.1 there. Anderson Springs. Hawaii, still seeing quite a bit of activity this last little while. But we're only sitting at 200 earthquakes across the USGS map right now. Seems to be quieting down through Hawaii. Alaska, not so much. Saw another 4.6 here in Adak. 4.4 here in Kamchatsk, Staria, Russia, Russia. As well as 4.2 here in Mutsu, Japan, 61 kilometer depth. 4.5, Chichibu, Japan. Marianas Trench. Marizo Village in Guam saw a 5.0 at a 51 kilometer depth. 4.9 ringing out there in Mendano, Philippines. And Indonesia has been rocking today. 5.1 Timor Leste, 160 kilometer depth. All fairly deep through the region. Bima, 4.8. And our deepest earthquake today, and only earthquake today through the Fiji region, 4.2. 591 kilometer depth so we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow even knowing we already saw that 6.3 4.6 there to report Myanmar and a couple more earthquakes to add up to the China earthquakes rare Germany earthquake here being reported as well 3.4 Scotia plate towards South Sandwich Islands 4.9 35 kilometer depth and South America pretty quiet as well 4.8 there, Calera, Chile, and a 4.1 and a 4.3, San Antonio de los Cobros, but both pretty deep earthquakes. So expecting a larger shallow earthquake to come, and I think it's going to be Central America yet again, possibly even up into the Cascades, a lot of pressure building. Having a look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet, this is the Walton Earthquake 3D map showing last seven days of events largest being the 6.3 that occurred just today off the coast of Central America heads up North America stay aware and prepared and be ready now let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world and giving you the most recent updated volcanoes Popocatepetl in Mexico, <laughs> Sabancaya in Peru, and then look at all these flood alerts. We're sitting at 237 active hazards, and it seems that three quarters of them are flood alerts on every continent right now. So please, if you want to stay aware and prepared to all these flood alerts that are happening, I suggest getting the Pacific Disaster Center alert app, and you can stay aware and prepared with more focused, detailed flood watches. Carrying on here, trying to find the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Sangue in Ecuador. Chikorotsky in Russia. Just reported, wakened yesterday. Shevelich in Russia. As well, there was another one in Russia. I do believe it was... Uh, I don't remember. It's on this list here. As you can see, Tsunami Watch did go out. Having a look here, satellite imagery around the world. Large low pressure system over eastern Canada and watch for that to ramp up and bring some moisture across Ontario and then eastward. Big low pressure system in the Atlantic. Strong systems moving up into Alaska from the Pacific this week and as well building out of Russia. We've got one typhoon to talk about, Typhoon Nisat who is set to head straight west into Thailand yet again. That's another typhoon for Thailand in the last couple weeks. But look at all those red flood alerts across every continent <clears throat> right now. We are seeing flooding conditions. And thoughts and prayers going out to everybody who's been evacuated over this past little while through parts of eastern Australia and northern. Many flood alerts and evacuations going on. So... Heads up, stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. We're going to give you a quick update on what's next for Australia.
We're going to start out here with Vint Husky overlooking Canada. As you can see, large low, center of the low, spinning parts of northern Hudson Bay, but the convergence lines stretching all the way to central United States. Watch for another low to grind in here to Ontario for tomorrow and the day after and the day after. We've got days upon rain here in Ontario and snow for parts of northern Ontario. Watch for that system to jet back northward up into the Hudson Bay. And strong, cold, snowy systems will develop. Western parts by next weekend. Alberta and parts of northwestern United States will see snow. Low pressure system coming in Friday into Saturday and then big low strong low pressure system grinding down the coastline here will be arriving Tuesday into Wednesday long range forecast that is eight days from now you're finally going to get some relief through BC drought area and then bring on the snow and the cold temperatures Overlooking the Gulf here, no major tropical systems developing through the Atlantic, but Pacific, nothing major to report there. Long range forecast, no major tropical systems developing. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains. Looks like by Thursday, Friday, they could get heavy at times and stormy conditions through Argentina, Paraguay, Bolivia. And then rains will get heavier next weekend for Central Amer or for South America, overlooking Africa. No major weather systems affecting you in the long range. A little bit of moisture for parts of South Africa. Europe, you've got one, two, three low pressure systems just spinning off your coast through the Atlantic. And that will bring stormy and wet conditions for the week for the next few days but still no major snow systems coming to Europe just yet overlooking Southeast Asia here is Typhoon Nisat forecast as it grinds into Thailand also got another system as forecasted a couple days ago grinding up into parts of Eastern India and as well another system there heading towards Saudi Arabia in the long range. Yemen. And then super long range, looking at October 27th into 28th. Got a typhoon here developing for parts of northern Philippines. And then we get to Australia down under. Next few days should be interesting as you do have another low encroaching in through the south but bringing a lot of moisture and stormy conditions to all of eastern australia no major cyclones to talk about quick look here over the pacific ocean i want to thank you all for watching today i hope you enjoyed all of this very informative daily do stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do we'll see you next video and again, thank you. And thanks to all of the members who really help make this happen. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.